Hello everyone, I'm Vince Gibbs, also known as DJ Too Legit. I'm going to show you how to use the Easy KRM plugin for Virtual DJ for karaoke. First, we want to start up Virtual DJ, and then we need to turn the plugin on. And you will be able to do that. It'll be under your Master section, and then under your Master Effects. It'll always be under the other, and then just turn it on here. So we turn it on. And then we want to click this edit button and it brings up a list of options. We're going to keep those open at all times. Those are the buttons we're going to use to manage our singer rotation. So now that we've got it turned on and we've got our list of buttons here, the first thing you need to do is decide how you want your background music or your filler music to be played. So you can have it played both on one deck, your karaoke songs and your filler music or you can split it up. You can have the karaoke songs played on deck one and your filler music or background music on deck two. That's the way I like to do it. And the way you do that is you come up to your options. You, under options, you type in karaoke. And these are all your karaoke options. Down here, it'll say karaoke dual deck. Set it to yes if you want to have karaoke on the left side and a filler music or background music on the right side. If you set it to no, it's going to put the karaoke songs and the filler music all on deck one. And just know that when you do that, it'll play the music in order, but you won't have hardly any control over it. So it's up to you. You can experiment with that. But I'm going to set it to dual deck. Exit out of here. And then the other thing is, right here under karaoke, the karaoke tab, this little button here gives you your other karaoke options. So you click on that, and then it says background music. You can select where you want it to grab the background music from. So I'm going to grab mine from Auto Mix, but you can get it from the side list or a specific folder or a specific file or even nothing. Now, when I'm using my DJ controller, I select nothing because that gives me even more control. But for now, for this demonstration, we're going to use the auto mix list. OK, we're good to go. Now, let's just pretend that you are at your gig. You're all set up. People are starting to arrive and you are ready to start karaoke. So the first thing you want to do is turn your karaoke on. OK, let me turn that audio down some so that it doesn't interfere with me speaking and given instructions okay so it turns your auto music on as you see right there now the reason that I don't like to do this when I'm at a real karaoke gig is because in between singers there will be an awkward pause of silence that I don't like so when I have it set to nothing I can go ahead and bring my fader up with my controller and I can fade in the filler music exactly how I want it to be anyway let's go ahead and get started Let's say your first singer comes up to you and his name is Justin. He says, hey, I want to sing a song. I want to sing My Girls by the Temptations. No problem. So what we want to do is we have to look at our screen and think of it like this. Here is our karaoke list or our rotation list. And then here is our working list. Think of the working list as a song queue. This is where all the singers' songs will be stored to get ready to go into the karaoke list. Okay? So, his name is Justin, and he wants to sing My Girl by the Temptations. So, what we're going to do, we're going to type in My Girl by the Temptations. And this is it right here. That's a karaoke song. That's a regular audio song. And then that's a MP4 video. And you can select what you want here. And that's the great thing I love about Virtual DJ and karaoke with Virtual DJ is you can play any kind of song you want. It doesn't have to be just a karaoke song. It can be a regular audio track or an MP4. And I love that. All right. So we're going to grab the karaoke track. And what we need to do is we need to take this and send it to our working list. The way you do that is you can drag it to our working list right here. Let it go and then click on working list. And there we've got him in this working list or the song queue. Once it's in the working list, you click on this little edit button there. And this is where you can add his name 
And if he wants to change the key, say he wants to sing it a half step lower, no problem. We type his name in and then we just change the key one half step and hit OK. And we're good. So now we've got Justin in the song queue, My Girl, Temptations. Now we need to add this to the karaoke list. Very simple. All you have to do is press this list button right here and it will move the song from the working list to the karaoke list. Let's see. Boom. There we go. So now he's ready to go. Now, the next feature that I want to show you is this text button right here. Once you click on text, it puts him in a scrolling text right there. Now, you can have that text scrolling however big you want and wherever you want it to be. All you have to do is click this text box right here and click the edit button. And then you have this rectangular box. By resizing the box is how you resize the text. And by repositioning the box, is that's how you reposition the text. Okay, close that out. All right, so we've got Justin in there. Now let's go ahead and add another singer. Say Regina comes up next and she wants to sing Misty Blue. No problem. Type in Misty Blue. There's a song by Dorothy Moore. We want to send her to the working list. Now I already showed you that you can drag her song to working list that way, but an even faster way is by clicking on this single plus button. Click on the single plus and it automatically takes you to the working list. It, it added her song to the working list. Now we're just going to add her name, Regina, and she's now there perfectly in the working list. Now since her song is prepared, we're going to send it, take it from the working list to the karaoke list with the click of this one list button. Boom. And now she's ready. She's in rotation. Her name is scrolling on, across the bottom. Good to go. All right. Let's add a couple of more singers. The next singer is going to be Vivian. Vivian wants to sing Last Dance by Donna Summer. No problem. Type in Last Dance by Donna Summer. It's right there. We're going to click on Single Plus. It adds her to the working list. We're going to add her name, Vivian. And then we're going to add her to the karaoke list by just pressing List. And boom, she's good to go. Okay, now there's another way that you can add singers to this list. Down here under the working list, you have a history of singers. Okay, so let's say Patty J comes in and she wants to sing a song. All right, well, if she's sung at your show before, you can just scroll down to her name, find a song she wants to sing right there, and then just add her to the working list by clicking single. And then to get back up to the working list, instead of scrolling up, We've got a shortcut right here. Just press WL. It takes you to the working list and shows that her song and her name have already been added. So now since we don't have to add her name because she's already sung that song, we just press list and it adds her to the karaoke list. Now let's get into some juicy fun stuff here. So we've got four names and songs populated on the screen. We've got our scrolling list of names at the bottom. So now we're going to start karaoke. Justin's going to sing My Girl. To get us started, we're going to double click on Justin. It loads My Girl into deck one. So now he's ready to sing. So what's going to happen here? I need to explain one more thing. Holder is turned on. So that means when Justin is finished singing, he's going to stay in the list as a placeholder because I don't have any other songs in the working list. But we'll get to that in just a minute. What's going to happen is Justin's going to sing My Girl. This is going to advance to the next song. And then it's going to put Justin at the end of the list and bring Regina to the top of the list and load Misty Blue in deck one. So let me show you how that happens. So we're going to start Justin's song, My Girl. There he is. He's playing. Now the first thing I do is get my next filler song ready. I want it to be the message. So I double click on the message. 
and I can even select where in the song I want it to start. I'm going to start a hot cue number three. All right, so we're good for our filler songs. Now, let's go to the end of My Girl and see what happens. What's supposed to happen is it's going to move Justin to the end of the list as a placeholder, remember? Because we don't have any other songs for him to sing next. It's going to put Regina at the top of the list, load Misty Blue and Deck One, and it's also going to play the message where we told it. Let's see if it does that. And there it did exactly what I said. It started the next filler song where we told it at hot cue number three. It brought Justin to the end of the list as a placeholder. And it put Regina at the beginning of the list and loaded her song so she's ready to sing. Now, I want to teach you guys about the swap button. This is your secret weapon. I love, love, love the swap button. So the swap button works all kinds of different ways. Justin, he needs a song. We can add a song to his name here under placeholder many different ways. We can grab one from his name under his history. We can type one in. Let's first type one in. Let's say he wants to sing Just Got Paid. Just Got Paid. The fastest way to get this song under Justin's name would be click on the song, click Justin's name, and then click the swap button, and let's see what happens. Boom, it loaded that song right under Justin's name in the karaoke list. Perfect, so we're good to go. So now let's move on. Let's let Regina sing, but before we do that, let's pick one more song for Regina. Okay, so we're going to add another song into the working list for Regina. And there's many ways we can do it. Let's grab one from her history. So we click on her name. We're going to add Square Biz by clicking on it. We're going to hit Single Plus and then WL to take us back to the working list. Now it's showing us right here that her next song is going to be Square Biz. So what's going to happen after Regina sings this song here, it's going to put her at the end of the list. It's going to grab Square Biz from the working list or song queue and put it under her name. It's going to put Vivian at the top of the list and load her song Last Dance in deck one while it advances the karaoke music, filler music. Let's see if that happens. So here we are. We got Misty Blue playing for Regina. First thing I do, go to Auto Mix, select my next song that I want and where I want it to be right there. Now, we're going to go to the end of the song, and what should happen is it should take Regina to the end of the list, grab Square Biz from the song queue, load it into the karaoke list, and put Vivian at the top and load the last dance in deck one. Let's see if it does that. And there we go. It did exactly what I said. It advanced the filler music to the next song where we told it. It brought Regina to the end of the list. It grabbed Square Biz out of the working list, added it to the karaoke list. It took Vivian to the top and loaded Last Dance to deck one. Let me show you some more cool things about the swap button. Okay, let's say Vivian comes up because it's her time to sing now. And she goes, oh... Vince, I don't want to sing Last Dance. Can I sing um, something else? Sure, Vivian, what would you like to sing? Oh, I don't know. I want to sing Get Here. Sure, no problem. Several ways you can do that. You can go to her history. She has Get Here in her history. You can just click on Get Here out of her history. Click on her name and click Swap. Boom, and it puts Get Here right there. Anytime you do a swap like that, you want to double click it to load it into deck one. So double click and then it loads right there in deck one. That's very important. Remember, always do that. Now, let's say Vivian wants to sing another song and another singer has sung the song. 
no problem. Let's say she wants to sing one of Regina's songs. She wants to sing uh, Misty Blue. Okay, we go under Regina's history, click on Misty Blue, click on Vivian's name, click on Swap, and boom, it puts Misty Blue under Vivian's name. Even though we got it from Regina, it inherits Vivian's name, and then double click, and we're good to go. We got Misty Blue ready to sing for Vivian. <laughs> well, we have Vivian ready to sing Misty Blue. Okay? Let's say she wants to sing a song that Tony sang. No problem. She wants to sing Maxwell Pretty Wings. No problem. We go under Tony's name, Maxwell, Vivian, Swap, and boom. There it is. Maxwell Pretty Wings. And just double click it to load it for her to sing, and we're good to go. Swap is your best friend. I love, love, love that feature. All right. Let's do some more karaoke. We're going to let Vivian sing Pretty Wings. Let's go back to our working list, see what we got here. Oh, one more thing. Anytime you do a swap, it takes the song out of the karaoke list and it puts it back into the working list. And that's a great thing because they may want to sing that song later. So it puts the songs back in the working list. One more important thing I need to show you is this order field right here. You want to right click somewhere in the field and then scroll down to see order. Make sure order is checked. What that does is it gives you a working order of the songs. After Vivian sings Maxwell, Pretty Wings, her next song is Last Dance. So this will get loaded in the queue. But let's say she doesn't want it to be Last Dance. Let's say she wants it to be Get Here. Well, you can take Get Here and switch it from two up to number one. Just drag it up. So now Get Here is her next song. So let's test this and see if it works. We're playing the song, Pretty Wings. Select our next um, auto mix song, want it to play there. Now we're gonna go to the end of her song. What should happen is Get Here by Alita Adams should get Pulled from the working list to the karaoke list under her name. Patty J will move to the top. Car Wash will advance to deck one and put a rush on me. We'll start playing the hot cue number three. Let's see if that happens. And there we go. Exactly what I said happened. After Vivian got finished singing her song, she went to the end of the list. It loaded Get Here, which was the next song on her list, right there to the karaoke list. It put Patty J as number one, and it automatically loaded Car Wash to deck one. Started playing the next filler song where we told it to. Perfect. So now let's let Patty J sing her song, Car Wash. What's going to happen if I don't do anything at this point? What should happen is Patty J will move down to the end of the list with a placeholder on her name. Justin will move to the top. Just Get Paid will get loaded. And then the next filler song will get loaded in deck two. So let's test it out. All right. Let's go ahead and select our next filler song. We'll select Jump by Criss Cross. Let it start right there. Okay. Let's fast forward to the end of the song and see what happens. And there we go. Exactly what I said happened. Patty J finished her song Car Wash. She got moved to the end of the list as a placeholder because we didn't have any more songs for her in the working list. Justin got moved to the first position. Just Got Paid got loaded up in the first deck and it automatically started playing the next background song or filler music. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So you can find a singer's history by clicking on their name down here to see what they've already sung. Or you can click on their name and you can click history up up here as well. Like let's see, Regina history. Okay. 
So that's what the history is for. You can also select a venue under your karaoke options here and then venue name right there. You can type in a venue name. I don't do that. I don't really have a need for that. Feel free to do that and experiment with that. Okay, now we're way down here in the list. The fastest way to get back to the working list is just click your shortcut right there. Boom, and it takes you right back to your working list. So we're good to go. So let's say Patty J comes up to you and she says, oh, I want to sing a song. I want to sing uh, Brick House by the Commodores. No problem. You guys tell me what will be the fastest way to load Brick House to Patty right there. Well, first we we'll pull up Brick House. Karaoke. And remember the swap button. You select the Brick House. You select Patty J and you hit swap. And there she's loaded right there. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys is let's say you get a singer that you've never seen before. Let's say her name is Betty. That's what this insert button is used for. Click on insert, type in Betty's name, and then just hit OK. And it puts her in the karaoke list as a placeholder. So now she's on the rotation list. You see her at the end. We've got Betty there. So you can give her some time to decide what song she wants to sing. And you can add the song at any time. So let's say Betty wants to sing something by Mary J. Bly. Okay, no problem, Mary Bly. She wants to do um, Sweet Thing, <laughs> okay? Click on Sweet Thing, click on her name, click the swap button, and it's there. All right? Now, I'm going to show you guys one last little quick tip or secret that I have here. Let's say another person comes. His name is Joe. He wants to sing a song by Morris Day the Time called Jungle Love. Watch how fast this is. Jungle Love. You can actually grab the song right here, drag it to the karaoke list, click on it, type in Joe, and you're done. Now, how fast was that? Let's say another singer comes in. Say her name is Kelly. And she wants to sing Britney Spears song. Oops, I did it again. Okay. Once again, we can just type the song. It comes up. Drag it over to the karaoke list. Click on it. Add her name, Kelly. And boom, we're ready to go. So that's another super fast way. And that's actually how I add singers that have not been to my shows before i just type in a song drag it over here put their name in and i'm done so fast but really the quickest way of adding a singer song to the karaoke list if they've already sung at your show is just come down here click on their name and then just grab the song and just drag it over boom look how fast that is okay let's say kevin slide comes in he wants to sing get up and it's not even a karaoke track, but he wants to sing it. He sung it before. Just drag it over. Boom. Because songs already in their singer list have their name attached to them. So you can just drag them over. And then get back to the working list. Just click WL and you're back. Okay. Now, once you start adding a whole bunch of singers, let's do that. Let's add a bunch of singers. Let's add uh, Damon. He wants to do Superstition. Okay. Uh, let's do Anna Mae. She wants to do Proud Mary. Okay, as you see, it's harder to drag them in now because we can't really see. So it's going to be hard to drag songs to the bottom of the list. Let's say Hollywood, he wants to do Let's Chill. This is where you want to take the song from their list and add it to the working list. Because that way you don't have to try to get it to the end. So we just take Let's Chill, Single Plus, and List. And it automatically adds them that quickly. Let's do it again. Let's do Jason G. He comes in. He wants to do Charlene. Click it. Click single. Click list. And boom. He's in there. All right. Let's do another one. Angel. She wants to sing so beautiful. Click it. Click single plus. List. And she's there. So it's super easy, super fast to get them in the list at the bottom when you have a whole bunch of singers and you don't feel like doing all that scrolling. Okay. 
So that's it guys. That's about the basics that I can tell you. I've used this system a couple of times at a couple of my super, super busy karaoke shows. And it's been nothing but a pure joy, a pleasure to work with. I want to thank Local Dog for creating this program. Genius is all I can say. I come from the background of using Karma karaoke software for 10 years, 10 plus years actually. And for me to switch from Karma karaoke software to virtual DJ using the easy KRM plugin, I'm telling you, it's only because I've used this at extremely busy karaoke shows and it works flawlessly. Thank you guys for watching. You all have a great day. Take care. Bye.